Welcome back to the pregame show here on the NECBL Broadcast Network. It is time for the Coach's Corner. Dave Peck alongside Newport Gulls pitching coach Kevin Winterode. Coach, big win, 8-5 to five, a couple of nights ago over Dan Barry. What's got to happen here tonight to just keep it going? Well, we just got to we got to have a good start out of our starter, and uh, we've got to just take care of little things. You know, it's the little things that compound a one-run inning into a five-run inning, and unfortunately, we've had a lot of those lately. So it's just kind of a deal where you just you got to play the game right, or bad things happen. As a coach, how do you balance you know keeping the team loose and keeping the team interested in winning and and continuing to play its best baseball? Well, according to, uh, you know, the the way this game goes, you either play the game or the game plays you. And with our kids and any kids, you know, y it's got to be fun or you're going to lose the battle before you ever face another opponent. So we worry more about us and, and us going out there having fun and executing and doing those things. And if you do that, the, you'll t the opponent will take care of itself. Dwindling roster, it's been a storyline we've been following. Does that affect you as a coach, you know, not as many arms as you had at the beginning of the season. How do you handle that? Well, it, it obviously from a number standpoint, it does impact you. But ultimately, we have to deal with what we have here. And, you know, you can always make excuses or you can uh, just deal with what you have to deal with. And we're not going to make excuses and we're going to use the guys we have and we're going to go from there. And uh, we'll deal with uh, w the overall specter at the end of the season. Do you know any guys who can pitch that are position guys? Uh, according to Dylan Plew, he can pitch, but he's yet to get receive confirmation from his coach there at school, so we're still in a waiting period on that. I actually asked him if he could pitch. He said the last time he threw was uh, maybe 12-year-old Little League. Well, the ir ironic thing about coming out to a summer league is all the pitchers can hit and all the position players can pitch, so you know, you don't have to ask twice. Somebody will stand up. It's just a matter of whether their coach is going to bring him home after he sees him in the box score doing the opposite. Well, Nick Enray, I mean, he played left field early in the season. He was in the dugout for the game against Danbury. He could go out in left field if he needed. He did go out in left field, and, uh, you know, it, it happens. I've had a pitcher at the plate in a big game in a playoff game just due to numbers, so it happens. But you'd like to keep them where they're supposed to be. But uh, we've got a good group of kids, and the kids that are here are competing their tails off, and we just got to take care of the little things, and we'll win ball games. If we let those things get away from us, we're going to have a tough time winning ball games. All right, thanks, Coach. It's the Gulls and the Pilgrims coming up next right here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.